Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. It's been three months since I've been using Naturium's products, and today, as promised, I'm gonna share with you guys my review on the first three serums that I've been trying so far. Since June, it's September now. It's October now, so it's been four months. These products were gifted to me from Susie Muir, but of course, my thoughts and my opinions are my own. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha. I post a lot of skincare, lifestyle, beauty, and hair-related videos. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed. Without further ado, let's get started. So as I said before, these products were gifted to me. I did do an unboxing video. If you haven't seen that one already, I dived into my, my first impressions of these products and really into the ingredients. I won't be going in too deep on the ingredients themselves since I already did cover that in the previous one. The three that I've been using so far is the niacinamide, the 12% and zinc 2%, the vitamin C serum 22%, as well as the retinol serum 2.5%. So let's get started with the niacinamide. As you guys know, niacinamide is one of my favorite, favorite ingredients. It is so amazing for the skin. It does just so much. It is good for oil production. It's good for acne. It's good for dark spots. It is one of the top five ingredients that you can add into your routine to really see great results. And so I have the one from The Ordinary as well. So for the first two weeks or so that I started using these products, I was using The Ordinary on one side and the Notorium on one side. This is the side with the Notorium. And yes, I have makeup on, but I'm just showing you the texture and like any pimples that I have. And this is The Ordinary. I'm breaking out. The only thing that was different was the brands of the products. Notorium's products, I would say, are definitely a lot better formulated. Now, obviously, with The Ordinary, one of the reasons why they can get these products being so cheap is because there's not a lot of formulation that goes into it. It's literally just your product, your product, and maybe a hydrator like um, hyaluronic acid or something. But with something like Notorium, the reason why you're paying a little bit more for it, I believe it retails for about $20, I'll put it here on the screen, is because there's a lot of other formulation that goes into here. There's that vitamin E, there's that hyaluronic acid that is supposed to help it um, absorb better into the skin. I really do like the thickness of this product. It has a very creamy consistency while it is, you know, a serum. One thing I found with the one from The Ordinary is it was really sticky on my skin for some reason. Like it absorbed nicely, but then I would it would be tacky once it's soaked in. There is no tackiness to this. It literally just soaks into your skin. I did find that the um, congestion that was on my skin, you guys know I got a congestion around my nose. That is what it is. Oiliness around my nose and my T-zone as well, my forehead. Um, that was a lot less. I did not experience very much oil. And I was using this during the summer months, which is when my skin typically that's a lot oilier. Now, with COVID, of course, I've been indoors. I haven't been outside very much, so maybe that could be affecting it as well. But I did find this really did help with my oil production, so I like that a lot. As well, I have acne-prone skin. As most of you guys who watch my channel do, I found that this really helped my um, active acne to subside really quickly. Like anything that was red on my skin, anything that was irritated within like one to two days of using this product, it was a lot more subsided. It wasn't completely gone. I did not get any cystic acne, number one. That is something that I do want to point out. And any pimples that I did get, of course, around my period were not like red and itchy and like painful or anything like that. So I really do enjoy this. It takes a bit of time to soak into the skin because it is a thicker product, but with something like this, I feel like I don't need to add any other like moisturizing ingredients. I could just cleanse, tone, niacinamide, and then put on a moisturizer and I'll be just fine. Um, but you know that I'm a little bit extra, so I did not use this all by itself. I actually used it with both the vitamin C and the retinol. Might as well just get this out of the way. The packaging itself, is nice because it's made of glass, I believe. It's made of glass. And the pump is really elegant and everything. The only problem with that is because the serums are so thick, sometimes it takes 
a while to get the product in. Even though it's not empty, you're like squeezing the tab to make the product come in. At the end of the day, I just found myself taking out the dropper and just hitting it at the back of my hand to get the product out. This is one of the first batches that was released by Notorium. So the packaging has changed. It does come with a pump instead, which I think is super amazing, especially for the other two products. Um, so that won't be a problem going forward if you purchase it now. Let's go on to the vitamin C. So the vitamin C is a beautiful, brightening serum. Now this is a vitamin C complex and as I mentioned before I don't really know what the percentage of the ascorbic acid and the other vitamin C is in here but I do think it is a really good effective serum. My spots on my skin have been there for years so you guys know it's not going to disappear overnight but I did find that my skin itself looked bright when I was using this product. It has more of a See a true serum consistency rather than the other one being a little bit more creamy but when you put it on your skin it absorbs so quickly it doesn't leave your skin feeling dry whatsoever it just feels good and plumped almost like a hyaluronic acid serum to be honest and I've used this every day in the morning didn't have any irritation. This is one of those encapsulated formulas so it's going to release that vitamin C like evenly so it doesn't lead to any irritation on your skin and I found that my skin really did like this a lot. In terms of dark spots, my spots have been there for three plus years so I don't expect them to go away overnight but I did find using the vitamin C any hormonal acne that I did end up getting did not leave any darkness or any scars on my face so it was nice that I'm not creating more problems for myself I was just slowly getting rid of what was already there. They are slightly lightened, but they're not like completely where I want them to be. Um, but I do enjoy this. I think if you're someone who hasn't really used vitamin C too much, this may be a good one to try because it's meant to not irritate your skin. So I do think this is a really good one as well. This is five weeks using Nutrium's products. I think I've sort of hit a plateau. So pimples, yeah, those are kept to a minimum. The retinol has really helped to get rid of a lot of the pimples. The niacinamide as well has helped them to, you know, not swell. In the first couple of weeks I did notice that the scarring was getting, the dark marks was getting a bit lighter but since then I don't see really any difference. This is just kind of where it always was. I did exploit this morning so this should have some type of difference there but um, now don't get me wrong, they are lighter, but they've looked like this for a while. So it's been five weeks at this point. I know that they're supposed to be really, really gentle, so it does make sense. I feel like it's a slow burner. I was using something that was a little bit stronger, a little bit more potentially irritating. Maybe I'll see results a little bit quicker, but I understand it's a slow burner, but it looks good. There's barely any pimples on my skin. I just finished my period, so there are a couple remnants there, like this one over here. But other than that, we look pretty good. You're going to find that these products are going to work really well, but they're going to be over a time period. You're not going to see immediate results from this. That, you know, is just what it is. I did a video talking about how long your skincare takes to work on your skin. And if you're curious about that, I'll link it above as well. But you're not going to see immediate results with this product or with any of the, any of the products in general. I just feel like they're more... It's more of a long-term game, which is kind of how you expect skincare to be anyways. Last but not least, we're going to talk about the retinol. It has three different types of retinols, retinol palmitate, actual retinol, and then there's um, bacuchiol as well, which is a plant derivative of it. So once again, not going to be too like crazy strong on your skin, but where retinol is concerned, you don't want anything to be too crazy on your skin. You want to start off very easily. I found that I use this every single day and had absolutely no issues using it. However, about four weeks into using this product, my skin did start to perch. So there was a little bit of irritation. This is what happens normally with retinol. It's not as strong as some of the retinols that I've tried before where within the first four days, my skin started to purge. This one took four weeks. I did end up experiencing a second wave of purging about six to seven weeks into using this product as well. What I really like about this product is that it is really light. So it does have a little bit of a grainy texture when you're putting it on your skin. It does dissolve and Susan says that this is the encapsulation just dissolving into your skin once you rub it in. So it's slowly releasing the retinol rather than just throwing it at your face. And so this is what is helping it not be as irritating. I do think that this one, unlike the other ones where they're very hydrating, very moisturizing, this one is more 
it's not going to be like super moisturizing so you're going to need something else on top of it it's not going to dry your skin at all like a lot of retinols do but you're going to want to use something else so i did end up using my r and w um emulsion with this and that really did help to lock in that moisture. This is really the only product so far that I've tried from her line that I've had to use something else. Um, but once again, it's retinol. What do you expect, right? Um, I did find that my skin is a lot smoother as well. Look at this. There is nothing on my skin. It looks so nice and smooth. Dark spots, we already know that. Anyways, moving on. Look at my forehead. There is like nothing there. And now this, I tried to lay awake and the glue like pulled. So that's, that's, we're gonna leave that alone. Ooh, girl, look at that. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It feels so smooth. My skin has never felt so smooth before. When I did the Isa Facial Challenge, my skin got really nice and clear and really smooth. But then after I stopped using the ice, it kind of reverted back. With this one, my period is coming in a couple of days and this is typically when my face goes crazy. My skin is not going crazy. I'm just kind of shocked at how smooth my skin is. Once again, it did not happen overnight, but over time, my skin got better and better and better. Retinol does have an amazing quality of helping you get rid of acne as well, which is the reason why I wanted to try this in the first place. Um, as, so I did find that using the niacinamide and the retinol together really did help control my acne and keep that under control and at bay. So all in all, really do enjoy this. I think that this retinol would be one of those starter retinols that you can try. It is going to be really effective while it's going to be very, very gentle on your skin. You are going to purge. I did purge twice, but it wasn't like stingy. It wasn't red. It wasn't itchy. It wasn't peeling or anything like that. None of the really uncomfortable things that you get with retinol. This one was just really easy, really straightforward to use. And I think that if you haven't tried retinol before, this would be a really good starter product to use. One thing I'll say about using these versus using something that's a little bit stronger is it will take a long time to see a difference on your skin. It took me four months. And honestly, as I was using them, I was looking at myself in the mirror and I'm just like, I don't see a difference in my skin. I don't see anything changing. It, I actually had to look back at the footage to actually see that my skin was changing and it did change. It did change a lot. They were subtle changes, but over time, my skin just looks completely different than it did before I started using these products. So I do like them you're gonna be using them for a very long time in order to see a difference. The only problem for me is that I live in Canada and these aren't yet available in Canada. Um, so I will have to be finding something else now that they are finished, which is unfortunate because I really do like these products. So those are my thoughts on these products. I think they'll be really good for anyone who's a little bit apprehensive about using actives, you've never used one before, or your skin is just very sensitive and reactive to a lot of products. Um, this would be a really good one to try. They're very gentle on your skin they will take a bit of time to show a difference but keep with it skincare is not you know an overnight fix it's a long game right so comment down below let me know if you've ever tried them before i would love to hear your thoughts and what you guys think and as always click over here to see some of my previous videos i will see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video bye